Hi everyone, Mary and I are so excited today because the Barbie uh, movie was released in theaters today and we decided we would celebrate by doing a Barbie look for you. So I'm excited, she's excited, and hopefully you're excited too. So let's get started. So um, first of all, we got the most perfect box ever from Lorella. Um, recently, if you guys would like to see the unopening of that, I believe it's going to be on this channel. No? Mm-hmm. It's on the other channel, yeah. Um, so, yeah, if you guys want to see the unboxing of that, it'll be on our other channel. But first, we got this Lorella Fam birthday palette. And just give me a second, you guys. You guys, <laughs> you guys need to see this. Boom. All pink. Perfect for today's Barbie look. So mm -hmm. we are very excited to not only make a Barbie look, but use this beautiful, beautiful palette. It has pretty much every shade of pink that you could probably think of. <laughs> so, and a bunch of beautiful glitters. So we are very, very excited to use up. this palette today. A nice close-up for you. Isn't that yeah. gorgeous? Oh. Absolutely beautiful. We were like so excited when we yeah. saw it. And then they also gave us a set of blending brushes mm -hmm. as well as a pair of eyelashes, which I don't think we'll be using the eyelashes today. And then they also gave us a lip combo. Um, they gave us an Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick and a Lorella Lip Liner in Bohemian. So that's pretty much what we got from that box that we're going to be using today. Um... And so, yeah, let's get started with today's look. Okay, so, so first, step one is always primer. Primer, always. So we just prime with the Pharmacy VFX Pro Camera Ready Primer. This is our very favorite at the moment. So I just take a flat um, foundation brush and I spread this all over the face and neck. So we're just going to put our primer everywhere. And um, I would say today's look, we're definitely going to go for kind of a, kind of a glam Barbie, I would say. Um, so we're definitely going to be putting some sparkle on the eyes and things like that. But we are going to try to make the face look like Barbie, of course. She has blonde hair and blue eyes already. Um, so she, we don't need to do any of that. <laughs> but yeah, today we're just going to make her, um, look like maybe a party Barbie. Party Barbie. Because we are excited for the movie. I mean, this is, I would say that this is probably a perfect look to wear to the movie. Because I know a lot of people are, you know, really excited for it and they are going to be dressing in pink. I, I'm assuming most people that are going to see it are probably going to wear pink. So if you'd like to do your makeup really fancy, this could potentially be a really great look. So I just put this everywhere. I went under the eyes as well and I'm going to just kind of go over the eyelids very softly. And then, now that we have the primer on, we're going to go ahead and get straight into the eyes. We're going to use the Tarte Ultra Creamy Concealer for our eyeshadow primer. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And I'm just going to put this directly on her eyelids. And then, usually I'll have her, like, open her eyes to spread it around. Um, so, I, I take, usually I take... A flat brush to blend this out as well as a beauty blender um, I like to use a beauty blender when blending pretty much everything um, just because I really feel like it ensures that you are not leaving any harsh lines so first I'm going to take the little brush sorry my hands kind of wet I'm going to take the little brush and I'm just going to spread this all over her eye we want like a really nice base um, because we're going to be doing an intricate look today. So, um, yeah, just you want to cover the whole eye. And it could even help to kind of carve out that brow bone. As you saw, I kind of did a line right here. So that's me carving out the brow bone area. And that can also help with um, placement of shadows and things like that. 
So it looks like I just need a touch more concealer. So don't be shy. Just cover, cover that eye really well. And this also prevents um, colors from getting stained into your skin. So when you put the concealer underneath, I know a lot of brands, they use the mica powder for um, eyeshadow, which is honestly my favorite type of pigment. Um, but mica does seem to stain in the red colors often. So, um, sorry, it's just right. scary. Um, so this really helps prevent like staining and especially on a bright pink Barbie look like this. Um, we don't want her eyes to be pink afterwards <laughs> when she wants to take it off. So, um, yeah, that's why this stuff is so important. It really is going to change the way your makeup looks. So we always do the eyes first. You don't have to. We just find it easier because of fallout. And also because you need to, excuse me, you need to let your primer set into place. So this gives us some time to let the primer set and um, also prevent getting any mascara or eyeshadow or anything on our clean base. Um, so I'm just going to take this and make sure that all these little edges are blended out. Um, also, we don't really do her eyebrows, which Barbie has blonde eyebrows, so that's okay. Mm -hmm. um, so I just kind of carve out the bottom and then I sort of blend this into her eyebrows a little bit because we will be blending like the foundation there and everything too, so... I just take the liberty of blending it into the eyebrows because it looks it looks better um, and also if we do the makeup and we leave her eyebrows unconcealed or un foundation it would just look really funny so um, so now we're gonna get on to the eyes I have a particular look that I am going for I'm gonna show you guys a picture of it it looks like this it's a little dark and it's actually in blue you can't really see it very well but um, you kind of you get the picture so it's in blue but we're gonna do it in pink today of course of course <laughs> because of Barbie um, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this color called B day and uh, I just wanted to you want to find like kind of a hot Barbie pink, um, but you want to kind of use one of the darker ones in your palette for this step. So we're just going to start to outline um, where we're going to have our shadows. So first and foremost, we are going to have a sort of faux wing look um, at the bottom. So I'm going to start by just making that kind of dark line. Um, there are a lot of shadows in the look that um, I showed you guys so we will blend lighter colors into this and to lighten it up um, but for now we're gonna go in with the dark one so I'm just taking kind of a flat fluffy brush and I'm making that line on her lash line and I'm dragging it out and then for the other part it's almost like a, a kind of half crease sort of a, a situation so what we're going to do is I'm going to just lift up her eye like this and I'm going to go right here and just pack that into place where that is going to be. And we'll clean all this up later. Don't worry too much about um, messiness yet because everything is going to be blended together. So, so don't worry, I won't leave you guys looking like this. Um, and we're just going to, I'm going to kind of use her inner corner as a guide. And I'm going to go up and make sort of a, sort of a circle. And we're just going to blend both of those out pretty well. Well, we're going to blend those out a little bit with our, with our current brush. But then we'll blend them out more later. 
So now that we have our kind of structure for the look, um, I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye. Okay, so now I'm going to take this color right here called Sprinkles, and I'm just going to take a blending brush, and I'm just going to do a little bit of that, and I'm just going to use this to kind of blend in the pink that we already have. Um, and because in the look there are like kind of, it's kind of, a uh, um, darker towards the base of the wing and towards the base of the cut crease. Um, and then it kind of blends out. So I'm assuming that she definitely used some lighter colors in there to kind of lighten that up. So that's what we're going to do. So we're just going to take that sprinkles color and just keep blending everything together. And um, I would say your darkest point needs to be here and here. So these two points. Um, so try to keep those kind of dark, but the rest of the edges blend, blend, blend them. And blend them in with that color really well. Because um, as you can see, like this eye is very well blended and you can kind of see the color transition um, but with this eye it's kind of a lot more um, defined lines and we will define those lines later so we don't really need it to do that for us. Um, I'm also just going to take a little bit of the other color called B-Day and I'm just going to put this in my dark points to keep those spots um, bold looking. So you just want to really blend those colors together and make it look like a smooth transition. So we'll do the same over here. We'll blend all of this with the color sprinkles and um, as you're blending most of the eye is going to become pink but you do want to try and leave as much of this middle area open as you can um, because of the fact that we will be cleaning that off in a minute and cutting the crease as well as um, winging the eyes so this is not a particularly simple look, but if you do follow each one of the steps well, um, you can really well execute this at home as well. So that's what we have so far. Okay, so these are the eyes so far. I'm just gonna take one more color, the lightest color in this palette, which is called Five, and we're gonna take the same kind of fluffy brush, and I'm just gonna put this on the very edge of where we have the makeup, kind of in that area almost that we wanna keep clear. But don't put it in that area, just put it like right above, like sort of here and here. And we're just going to use a little bit of this one because um, we just want to bring some of those light pinks back into the look. Of course, Barbie is hot pink, but we want to bring um, all those shades together and make them transition very well. So now that we have our shadows on, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a makeup wipe. These are the Lorella Cleansing Wipes. Um, you can, there's also a lot of products that you could use for this. Um, uh, I would also recommend maybe, maybe a cleansing balm if you're having a hard time getting the shadows off. Um, but yeah, I actually might use the cleansing balm just to show you guys because it is a little bit easier. 
Um, so what you would do is you would take your cleansing balm. This one is from e.l.f. And then you're going to get a cotton swab. So you're going to take your clean cotton swab and you're going to just take a little bit of your cleansing balm on there. Sorry. Um, and then you kind of want to rub it onto there. You um, maybe use the back of your hand to kind of warm it up and you can pick up more product as you need it. But just make sure that it's coated really well. And then we're going to take this. And we're going to start wiping off that area that we are going to cut crease. So you want to do it very gently. You don't want to hurt yourself. Um, but as you can see, all of that pink is kind of coming off. And what I like to do for my guide as a cut crease is I like to t go from the inner, very inner tear duct. And I go up. And then when it hits the crease here, I curve over. So that's how I make my cut crease um, lines very straight. So we're doing a, I believe this is a half cut crease look. Let me take a look. Oh no, this is a full cut crease. So what we're going to do is we're going to take it up out here. So just use as much of that cleansing balm as you need. And then what I like to do to make sure the cleansing balm doesn't stay on her eyeball is I'll just take a makeup wipe and go over that. And you want to be very careful with your lines. Um, but you will be cleaning it up con with concealer as well. So I just took the end of a brush and I put it on the makeup wipe. And I went like this to ensure the clean line. So you can also do that if you don't have a cleansing balm to use to clear off your eye. So now we're just gonna, now that we have this kind of half moon shape, we're just gonna go straight out and make kind of a wing sort of shape. So just clear the whole wing area and we'll blend everything back together and, you know, make it look cohesive. But for now, this is what we have. Okay, so I'm going to clear out the same area on the other eye, and I will be right back. Okay, so now that I've done that, I'm also going to clean up the edge of her eye right here for her wing. So I am just going to go straight against the edge of her eye and go up and wipe everything else off. So you guys could see that um, and then you just want to wipe the area and make sure that everything's nice and clean so again I literally take a pointy brush well like you could take any brush but a thin brush is the best and this kind of has a point at the end so I take my makeup wipe and I put it right over and I hold it like this and I just use my makeup brush as kind of a tool to help me get a straight line and then you're gonna wipe anything that's like on the temple or anything like that okay so now that we have everything carved out and everything kind of in the place we want it we're gonna go ahead and take that same concealer again and we're also going to use the flat brush again and um, honestly, the Tarte Concealer is very wet and creamy. So this is a really good concealer for a cut crease. So we're just going to put a little bit of that in our area where we're going to have it. Uh, and have her look up. And then you could just look forward again. And that helps get the, um, that helps kind of distribute the, um, concealer to the line you want so when you look up you want your concealer wherever it ends up being you want to put your concealer in the middle of your eye and then when you look up wherever it ends up being you want that to be where your concealer is going to stay if that makes any sense so we're just going to make a nice clean line you want your line to be very clean 
So pull the skin taut if you have to. And then we're gonna drag that out as well. And so you have this, you have your cut crease. And I'm just kind of blending that a little bit with the pink here, and then we'll go in with a brush and blend those together in just a second. Um, but yeah, just take like your flat brush and start to blend those excess pink colors into the concealer. So it kind of creates almost like an ombre effect. And then you don't have to blend in that concealer with anything other than the brush that you used so you leave it just like that um, but you do want to use your brush with a little bit of excess eyeshadow and you don't really you don't want to blend this at all up here that's how you want that to look mm -hmm. but with the wing you want it to blend into the concealer so we're just kind of going to use the brush to lightly blend that together and you can even use a light shade of pink if you'd like um, I'm probably going to go ahead and use this color called number five. I used it before, the lightest color. And I'm just going to take a little bit of that too. Because number five is basically this almost the same color as the concealer. So that will be a really great transition shade for that wing. So we're going to go ahead and do the other eye and we'll be right back. Okay, so now that we have our cut creases done, as you can see I did it on both eyes. Um, we're going to go ahead and just, I'm just kind of cleaning up, making sure everything is in place. And then, um, I'm going to clean this up as well. So, with the top look, you kind of want it to only go to the arch of your eyebrow. So, I'm going to wipe off everything that is past the eyebrow arch for the top part. And then that will just be filled in with probably concealer or foundation. So we took about half of it off. And then we're going to make sure to do the same thing over here. And so now we have sort of that half moon look for the... Um, oops. For the top part. Um, and of course, since I cleaned up those lines, I am going to blend them. You want to make sure everything's blended. So I am going to go back into both of these sections and just blend a little bit. I want to make sure every single thing is um, blended. And then also, as you can see, we sort of have like a harsh line up top here. And that's supposed to be like that. So... Um, you don't need to really blend that out much, but I would say to just really diffuse these ends that I took off here, um, because they will look a little funny if you don't, um, blend them out. Okay, so now we're going to go over that, um pink so here look at me close your eyes I'm also blending the wings I want them to look very clean as well um, so now we're going to put something in that um, blank space and as I mentioned we did get new brushes from Lorella and I haven't used any of them for this look yet um, so I'm going to go ahead and use this very very flat brush and not to mention that when you're doing a cut crease you want to use a brush that already might have concealer on it and is very flat and th and just very flat so when you're doing that cut crease make sure you use a very very flat brush like this but we're going to take another flat brush and 
I think I'm going to go ahead and take the color. Hmm, what color should I take? I think I'm going to go ahead and take this color right here called Baked Cake. This just keeps catching my eye. So I'm going to pick up a good amount of that color mm -hmm. on the brush like this. Mm -hmm. And then... Um, And then I'm just going to, uh, and it's like a light pink kind of color, so I do want to bring those light pinks back into the look. And I am just going to tap this into all of the cut crease area. And it's going to stick very well because you have that concealer there. It should also help the concealer not crease there. Yeah, yes. It's kind of covers, powders up that concealer and covers it up. Um so it doesn't crease very much so we're just gonna fill that entire area everything and i'm just patting the glitter on the eyes because i really want to pack it on there i mean this is a barbie look barbie is very pretty and glittery and pink and fun so i want this to be very glittery so we're just gonna tap that into there and then I'm also going to take a little bit and put it on the inner corner area, which you guys could, can't really see that well, but I did. I did it. <laughs> um, and then we're just going to do the same thing over here, really packing on that beautiful glitter. And this glitter is pink. It has like a pink tint to it, um, but it's just very pretty and like iridescent and... I really like this one and I really love this palette these colors are absolutely gorgeous and these glitters are like glitter glitters they they are from you know they're all the way to pan with glitter so you're not getting a, a eyeshadow that's partly glitter and partly gel or mm -hmm. anything like that um, there is gel in the glitter but it's mixed very well together and yeah, these are just some really, really good quality um, shadows. So I love to do a look with some good quality shadows because it really just enhances how it looks and it makes everything so much easier and so much better. So if you can invest in some good um, eyeshadow palettes with good glitters or if you want to get the Lorella um, subscription, it's only $25 a month. And you most most of the time you'll get a palette that is worth more than $25. So now that we've done pretty much all of the eyes, um, I'm gonna go ahead and just put a little bit of mascara on to finish up the eyes, and then we'll move on to our perfect base. And I say perfect because Barbie is perfect. I mean, she's plastic. So, um, so um, we want to make this her foundation look really, really clean and beautiful. Um, so we have the eyes done. Actually, I, 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 I fibbed. I told a fib. We don't have the eyes completely done. Um, but we, we. Okay, so we're just going to take this color Sprinkles, and I might have to go back in with this again when we do the concealer, um, but I'm just going to have her look up, and I'm just putting this right on her lower lash line. And this is how it is in the other picture. There is also a little bit of bottom lash line shadow in that one, so... And this kind of really brings the, um, I'm just taking this flat fluffy brush again. This will bring kind of the wing together a lot better. So we're just putting that all under the eye. And then we'll clean that up when we do her concealer. And then we're going to go ahead and do mascara. Because I struggle with not getting mascara on her base sometimes. So we're just going to avoid that problem altogether and do mascara now. So we're using the Pharmacy Double Lash Extend Mascara today. Okay. 
And I'm just going to put this on both of her eyes. Coating all her lashes really well. Now you can. They did come, the Lorella box this month did come with some falsies. But honestly, you guys, falsies really irritate her eyes. And so, um, and this look is already very extravagant. So you can choose whatever type of eyelash routine that you have. If you just do mascara, go ahead and do your mascara. If you do lashes, go ahead and put some lashes on there. Um, because this can work with lashes or mascara or anything. Um, but yeah, that's why we aren't using the lashes today. But if you wear lashes or if you want to look really fancy, I would recommend putting some lashes on with this. But look up. But it does also look very beautiful very beautiful with just some mascara and I don't think Barbie really has like her lashes don't really look fake yeah she more has like a natural like you know because she's perfect so she has naturally beautiful eyelashes um but yeah so we're just gonna stick to mascara and this, sorry, you see, that is what I did now. Mm. And that was perfect, actually. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's a, an example of why we do our, why I'm doing mascara now. Because that happens a lot. And sometimes it's my fault, sometimes it's her fault, and it doesn't really matter. Um, but it is way easier to get off when there's nothing on the face. See, it's gone. And we'll never see it again. <laughs> so, you know, that happens sometimes. So, if you do wear mascara, just be very careful with the um, eyeshadow. You don't want to get any mascara on the eyeshadow look that you probably just spent 20 minutes trying to perfect. And um, you also don't want to... If you do it like this and you do the mascara before your base, then you should be fine. But just don't get it on the eyes. Okay, and I'm just going to look up. Okay, so now that we pretty much almost have the eyes done, we're going to finish our base up. First things first, I'm going to do foundation. I'm doing a full coverage foundation today because Barbie has porcelain skin. So we're using this one from e.l.f. This is the e.l.f. Elf, Elf Flawless Satin Foundation. And um, I'm just going to put this on a flat foundation brush. And I'm just going to disperse this all over her face. Like this. We already put our primer on, don't forget. So um, you can just go straight into this step. I might need to push that up a little bit. Yeah. So I'm just making sure to kind of go around those eyes. 
because we don't want to mess up the wing we have going on. And then after I do that, I just take a beauty blender and I blend everything very well. Or as you can see, that beauty blender just makes the skin look so extremely beautiful and um, smooth. So that's why I really like going in with the beauty blender. And you're just going to make sure to blend that like into your hairline. Um, so you don't have a line up there and then as well as the neck and kind of you know the ears just blend that all in Okay, so now that she has that on, we're going to go ahead and take our favorite. This We've used this like probably three times already. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but look up. We're going to just go ahead and do her concealer. Now, since we have lots of makeup on the eyes, you want to be careful with doing your concealer. So I will show you guys what I do. So you're going to go ahead and put it on. And then we're going to take that same concealer brush we've been using and we're just going to take the brush and use this to get in all the places that um, are maybe covered up by makeup already. Sort of like I'm going to go under her lashes here because I already did the mascara so I'm just going to go under her lashes. But then I'm also going to go under that pink part because we want the pink to stay there. So... I'm going to go right under the pink part, um, and I'll blend that out into the concealer a bit later. And then we're going to go up here, and I'm just going to do a straight line out for the liner. And so, on this particular look, this step is a little tedious, because you want to make sure that you're not just, like, blending over that mascara that we put, or that eyeshadow that we put, because that, that is... Part of the look so um so now that we have it all kind of in place i'm going to take this and start to blend out the harsh lines and then when we get more into the eye area i'm going to take my brush again and blend that part in with the brush Look up. So I'm very gently just tapping with the beauty blender. Okay, so now that we have the concealer over there, we're going to go ahead and do the same thing over here. Look at this.
and the concealer um since i did have a lot i did take a little bit and blend it down into her nose crease right there because she will crease there a lot so i like to put concealer and set it really well so um i'm just gonna take this again and it's just basically the same process on each eye whatever you do to one eye you gotta do to the other eye And there is our finished concealer. So now that we have all of that on, the rest of the makeup I am going to do with just powder. So we're going to go ahead and take this brightening powder. Um, I would recommend a brightening powder, especially for this look, because we want the eyes to look really youthful and bright. So I'm just going to take a small brush. This is just a small fluffy brush. And I'm going to pack that onto the eyes, onto the under eye, immediately after I've blended. So no creasing happens and I can ensure that all of this stays where I want it to be. So we're just going to set the under eye area. We're going to kind of pack that powder on a little bit. Um, we're not specifically baking I, I would say but we are kind of packing the powder on and then we'll blend it out a little more later so I wouldn't entirely call it baking but it's sort of baking kind of baking okay so now we're just going to take a big fluffy brush and I'm going to take the powder again and just lightly tap that all over the face to kind of set everything in because we will be putting powders um, on the face now. So just kind of a little bit of that powder and we're gonna set everything. And then next we're gonna go ahead and use this Cab Cosmetics Volume 1 Contour Palette. Um, we're just going to do a little bit of contouring today just because of the fact that Barbie does have like a perfectly structured face. Okay, so I got my one of my Barbies so that Mary would be able to kind of use her face the contour. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> so yeah, um, basically she... Um, she obviously doesn't really have any contour makeup on the doll, but we do want to contour her face just so she looks a little more, um, I guess you would say snatched. Yeah, this part down here is a little thinner and the nose is a little thinner, so yeah. you can actually do that with makeup, so that's kind of what Mary's going to do right now. So I'm going to take this palette and I'm going to take the darkest shade, which is called Caramel. And um, when you're contouring, you really want to use kind of a, a dark shade. So we're just going to take it on this kind of, uh, what is this called, a dense sort of angled brush. And I'm just going to go from top of the ear. And I'm just going to put that directly down. But I'm going to blend up because I want her face to look like it's going up like I put her concealer very up high that's also why we did the wing we want to uh, lift her face so this is really going to help with that here look this way and it's just kind of a shadow so you don't have to worry too much about um, if it looks kind of 
like it's not there or if it looks very shadowy because that's what it's made for it's made to just look like sort of a shadow that's already on the skin or under the skin and that kind of brings in her face a little bit as you can see Just so I'm just going to blend that right up into her cheekbone. <laughs> and so, <laughs> do you guys know that 20% of Barbies are sold to adult collectors? Wow, I didn't know that. I'm going to take the big fluffy brush now and just... Make sure that's nice and blended into the skin. It looks really nice and blended so far, but I just want to make sure. Um, I also forgot the forehead. I need to do the forehead. So I'm just trying to kind of make her forehead look a little more rounded. Because Barbie's forehead is very small and round looking. And her hairline is a little more um, square. I'm the model. I'm the model. <laughs> She's so pretty. She's always smiling. I think she has brown eyes. And then I'm going to take a little bit on her chin here. And kind of do like a, almost a triangle, like that. Wait, relax your chin. There we go. So I did almost kind of like a triangle shape. I think that's my mother. Okay, so I'm just going to really make sure this is blended out well here on the chin here. Now that we have that, we're going to move on to the nose. I'm going to take a very thin Lorella brush. It's kind of thin and like fluffy. Um, it's very cute actually. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to take a little bit of that same color, caramel. And I am just going to really make her look like she has an upturned nose. So we're gonna we're gonna put a lot of contour right there on the bottom, so it looks like her nose is more upturned. So we're gonna put that right there, and we're gonna really blend that. And then um, also the tip of her nose is a little thinner. So we're going to bring that in a little bit. I'm going to do sort of a diamond shape. Or sort of a circle, I guess, maybe. And then I'm also going to take this and just go with the top of her bridge. And we're just trying to make the nose look thick <laughs> like a like just very thin and, and barbie-esque as much as we possibly can um and you don't have to contour the nose like this you can do your regular makeup base routine um but this is just what we wanted to do to recreate the barbie look um so yeah So now that you have that blended into place, we're going to go ahead and take a highlighter. And this one is a powder. It actually looks like a little planet. It's very cute. Um, it's from the brand ZC. It came in the ice cream box, I think. Oh yeah, I think so. Yeah. So I'm just going to take a fluffy highlighting brush um, and... I'm just gonna put that directly on and this was a beautiful highlighter so this is really gonna make the skin shine 
and look very luminous and of course plastic is shiny so we want to give her a little more shine in this look so i'm going to put a little bit on her forehead a little on her chin and of course i'm going to put it all right here on the cheek where we normally would highlight the face Um, but yeah, this look is very matte so far, and Barbies are matte, but they are also shiny because they're plastic. So their makeup looks very matte, as you can see, it's very, like matte makeup, but then they have that like shine on their nose and stuff because, well, they're plastic. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, we're really going for that Barbie look today. We're just going to put a little highlighter on her nose as well. Um, and this kind of will help uh, kind of brighten up that contour, that nose contour. This will just kind of help that look a little better as well. Okay, so now that we have all of that, of course I'm blending, my favorite thing. <laughs> Making sure the nose and everything is nice and blended. Last but not least, Barbie has lots of blush on. So we are, well not lots, but she has a good tint to her cheeks. Um, here, okay. as you guys might be able to see there. She kind of has a nice pink tint on her cheeks. Um, now this Barbie doesn't have any eyeshadow. Normal, uh, the regular original Barbies do have a pink eyeshadow on them. But I don't think she does. But it's probably because her eyes are purple. That could mm -hmm. be why. Mm -hmm. She is a purple eyed Barbie. So. Um, so yeah, basically this is the Color Control by Liddell. This is our favorite blush right now. And I'm just going to take this, and it's a very bright blush, so we are going to have to diffuse this. Um, but I'm going to take this kind of all over um, the apples of the cheeks. Um, and I kind of focused a little more on the apples, because Barbie has hers more up here on the apples of her cheeks a little bit. So, that's a lot of blush, so we're going we're gonna to blend it out. Um, and then I put this, I put the blush right in between the contour and the highlighter. So kind of like a Neapolitan ice cream is what you want it to look like. <laughs> so we're just going to blend out that blush. And that blush looks absolutely beautiful with the eyeshadow. The colors match so beautifully. Um, so yeah, there's a little more on this apple of the cheek than that one. <laughs> And then I do put a little bit on her nose. Barbie doesn't do that, but, you know, <laughs> it's our normal. Um, okay, so next I'm going to take this lip gloss. This is from Beauty For Certain. It's in the color Flamingo. It is a bright pink um, lip gloss, and it's glittery as well. So we're just going to put this on her lips. And um, luckily, because her lips are pink already, they it doesn't um, it looks really nice with this look. So I'm glad about that because I was scared that it, the look was gonna be a little too hot pink. In person, it's very pink, but um, for you guys, it looks really really good. Um, but even in I'm sorry, even okay. in, even in <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna go. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Even in person, it looks really good and really pretty, so. Okay. Okay. 
And now I'm just going to go ahead and spray her with a setting spray. We're going to use a little bit more of a dewy setting spray. This one is from Pharmacy. It's the Makeup Time Locker. Because um, like I said, she's supposed to look like a Barbie, so we want her to look very um, shiny. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and spray her with this. We're just going to fan that off. And I think there we have it. Our Barbie movie Barbie look. I'm just going to fix her hair so you guys can get a little more of a visual. <laughs> Hi, everyone. <laughs> anyway, this is the final Barbie look. This is my Barbie. And um, she's, I think, well, I do have one more that's blonde. But um, anyway, so this is our Barbie look. We hope you enjoyed it. And if you're going to the movie today or tomorrow or whenever it premieres today, um, maybe you can do something similar. Wouldn't that be fun? Yeah. And Let they, us know if you guys try out this look. We'd yeah. love to see how it turned out. Um, they have pink uh, hairspray too if you wanted to just do like some little, you know, pink things in your hair or whatever. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Have a good day. Bye. Bye. Say bye. <laughs>